Hello, welcome to LRC's Kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to present a kind of a sambar or a salon. Uh, I've just learned it from a friend of mine, Usha Lakshmi Narayan, who used to teach in Rukul Fla. Uh, thank you, Usha, so for teaching me or telling me how to go about it. So let's try it out. Uh, one unique thing about this uh, sambar is I'm not going to use cooked dal at all. It's going to be multi-vegetable, so you can add any vegetable into it. I have cut various vegetables. What vegetables you use is completely your choice. I, you don't have to just go buy this or that vegetable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first get some udat dal, little of it, say about a handful. Add a little mustard, haldi. This I'm going to add a liberal helping of curry leaves. I've taken about nine uh, red chilies, toss them all up, make sure you're doing this on low flame. Now add about one, two, three and a half to four spoons of it's the same seeds or thin. Get that also to a roast. Put off the stove and put this in the mixie. I'm going to pulse it. Come back to the stove. Add fenugreek seeds and this quite a, a bit of it, at least a spoonful of it. And a coconut. I've uh, taken about half a coconut, grated it. This also goes into this mixture. The coconut must lose its uh, wetness. It must also turn a little brown, not completely. It must at least lose that very whitish color. As the aroma comes of coconut being uh, roasted. Put this also in the mixy. I put the coconut and the fenugreek seeds which were roasted into this earlier mix of red chili, sesame seeds or till and curry leaves. Now again. Now add water to the mixture and get it to a paste. This should be the consistency of the paste that you have. Now the sambar begins. You've just got the masala ready. I'm putting some oil. The tarka as usual, where I'm using very little udadda. Rai, mustard, and some jeera. Also adding a few curry leaves. Now, the first of the vegetables that will go into it is sambar onions. You now add 
the other vegetables. I also added two green chilies. It adds a nice taste. They are not the very spicy ones. Put in the. I've added uh, green pepper, yellow pepper. I've used the drumsticks. I've used double beans, uh, French beans, muni, rad, and carrot. Add water. let it come to a marginal boil. As the first set of vegetables such as uh, carrot, mooli, drumstick etc is getting boiled, give it some extra time and after that about a minute or so, now add two very important ingredients of the summer the two varieties of pumpkin that you get the sweet pumpkin and the ash gourd add these two mix well add pre-boiled potatoes you can also have potatoes cut boiled and cut and put into it i also have some pre-boiled and cut arvi which is going into this. Now into this entire mixture, I will again add water. And salt. Let this come to a boil. Once the vegetables are cooked, add tamarind. I've taken about two small lime size of tamarind, soaked, squeezed and put into this. And along with it goes now the masala, the ground masala. Mix it well. Add water if you think that it is uh, very thick because you want it at the end to come to a near sambar like consistency. So you can notice the smoke, the sambar has come to a complete boil, all the vegetables inside have boiled. If you think that uh, there's less of tamarind or there's a little less of uh, mirchi powder. You can add a little more tamarind or mirchi powder. I noticed that it had less amount of tamarind, so I added some more tamarind to it. So, catch up with you at the presentation. So, the sambar is ready. Uh, it's also ready for presentation. Uh, there's, it can go with rice, it can go with dosa, it can go with idli. This is the consistency at which you will have the sambar. I'm hoping uh, that the camera pictures this. This is the sambar consistency with multiple vegetables in it. Do try it out and let me know when as I sign off. Thank you Abhinav, thank you Ritika, thank you Datu and a very 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 special thanks to Usha Lakshmi Narayan for introducing us to this new dish. Hope you all will try it out and enjoy it and do give me your feedback. Bye-bye.